Hi, Peter Borker here, and welcome to today's edition of the Transition Life. Now, joining me in the studio is Jared Yellen, the CEO and founder of Cinderella. Awesome. Hello, my friend. I'm excited to be here. Yeah. So, Jared was a keynote speaker at the Action Coach Global Conference. And the topic we were covering with Jared happened to be marketing. Now, a lot of people talk about marketing, and marketing is a really sort of, I think, often an overused term because people talk about marketing but really don't do marketing, so to speak. And one of your, I mean, basically, you talked about yesterday the whole thing around number one, software helping with marketing, but more importantly, having a 12 month marketing plan. Can you tell us a little bit more about that, please? Yeah, no, it is. It, it's for me. It's, it, it changed my life, and I think often for for entrepreneurs, that what drives them most are those events in their life where everything changes as a result of a decision. And I started Sindhu in my apartment eight years ago, over eight years ago, a solo founder, no money, no team, big vision, and the company grew really quickly. We ended up getting this huge office, hired tons of people, and initially we were a marketing agency, so businesses would hire us. Full service. We build their websites, we do their search engine optimization, we do their product launches, and we were growing literally month after month. We had hundreds and hundreds of clients, huge team. And then one day I had this realization, which was this is completely out of control. Like it was not control chaos, it was just chaos. And I'll never forget it. I was probably about 14 months in. I got into bed one night and I was with, at the time, my fiance, who's now my wife, and she poked me and she said, Jared, I feel like I'm the inconvenience in your life. And it was interesting because she was like, she actually was getting in the way, but I didn't really want her to feel like that. Like she was the most important thing in the world to me. I saw this big, wonderful life together. And I woke up the next day and I realized the missing piece in our business was we had no plan. Every day I'd wake up and I'm a creative and whatever I thought I wanted to do, I would just do. And there was no structure. There was no plan. The relationship was burning out. Eventually I would burn out and my team was definitely burning out. So it sent me on this mission to try to figure out what are the ingredients of a plan? Because everybody talks about this concept of a marketing plan. They take out those big calendars, they try race boards, they're, they're writing what they're going to do, but no one actually implements. And I, I started surveying businesses. I surveyed tens of thousands of businesses. And I said, how many months do you have planned out to the future of your marketing? And it was staggering. 0. 0.6 months. 0. 0.6 months, not even a month. It was like two weeks they were planned out. And I thought to myself, there has to be a better way. Because everybody then is just building by the seat of their pants. And I created this formula. Um, it's the annual marketing plan formula. It took me months to figure out what ingredients need to be inside of the plan so that it could work cohesively that any business, whether you are a carpet cleaner or you're a chiropractor, whether you're a business coach or you're a financial service provider, any business could fit themselves into this formula. And I'm proud to say we've done it. And now we've had tens of thousands of people actually implement the annual marketing plan formula into their business. So why do you think businesses struggle with the whole marketing planning? Because they're very good at doing little bits, as you say, very disparate. Yeah. Why do they struggle with the actual planning? I think it's a few things. I think that most businesses within their zone of genius, they're super creative. Yep. They're super on point. Like I work with a lot of health professionals and ten, like over 10,000 of them. And they're so creative when it comes to supporting their patients. Like when their patient comes in with a health condition, they can like on the spot think of a solution and then help that person. You take that same health professional and you say, okay, now get creative with your marketing. And they're like blank there. They're like nervous. They don't even know what to say or do. But they're not marketeers. They're not marketers. So I think that's really the first thing is that the whole concept of a marketing plan, it just falls outside the zone of genius for people. Whether you're in travel or real estate or finance or you're a business coach, that's your zone of genius. That's where you're super creative. That's where you can dial in. But outside of that, it's harder with marketing, it's kind of this elusive concept. That's the first thing. I think the second thing is people just don't know what ingredients should be inside of it. So, okay, I know I need to have a plan. There needs to be a consistency around my communications and my promotions. But what does it actually mean? Like, okay, I send an email once a week. Okay, there's my marketing plan. Like, that's not a marketing plan. Yeah, but that's plan. the problem. That's what they think. That's what they think. Oh, I have a monthly newsletter. I have a marketing plan. Like, no, you have a marketing plan. You have a monthly newsletter. Oh, I post on social media. How often? I don't know, once or twice a week. That's not a marketing plan. We need a 12 month month by month process that you are going through that puts your business from defense to offense. And what I always tell businesses is you can't score points on defense. And if you don't have a 12 month plan, you're operating on defense. You're in reactive mode. That's like the business owner that decides to run like a, a holiday special in March because like they forgot that the holidays were in December because like, they're just they have no plan. Everything is so reactive. And that's one of the, the second reason. And the third thing is technology. 
I think that we have come to a place where we're, it's the greatest opportunity and the greatest curse for businesses. Yeah. Years ago, marketing was, was hard to get reached, but I guess it was easier because you could touch it, right? It was paper, it was direct mail, and those still things, they, they exist. But now there's all this digital stuff, and it's really abstract for businesses. And there's just like this overriding limiting belief, which is, I don't get tech. And if you don't get tech, you're not really creative. And the whole concept of not even knowing what the ingredients of a marketing plan are, you're stuck. And then that's the reason why they don't know. Well, a lot of these people say, I mean, and yes, if you look at it, the majority of it's all gone on social. It's all online. It's all digital. And I hear so many people say, yeah, but I don't do social. Yeah. I don't do Facebook. I don't do Twitter. Yeah. I don't do Insta. I don't do Snapchat. What do you have to say to that? Yeah. Well, first thing, I don't think social is marketing. I think social is just another way to connect with people. I look at marketing as a very comprehensive process. It's a combination of email, social, print, text messaging, workshops, webinars, networking within your community, going out for lunch one-on-one with a business that you can perform a strategic alliance with. So when someone's like, I don't do social, my next question is, well, what do you do? And typically, they're not doing anything. Yep. So like that's just like their excuse. Oh, I don't do social. That's why I'm not marketing. But here's the deal. You have to show up. And you have to show up in a very consistent way. Within social, there's three different types of posts that we really encourage businesses to embrace. And they can do this. One is inspirational content. So whatever industry you are in, I don't care if you're in insurance or you're in coaching, find a way to inspire people through your social, find motivational quotes, share a little bit of what the quote means to you, and start humanizing yourself. Second kind of post is intellectual posts. So these are posts that might not get a lot of engagement, but it's really good for establishing yourself as an authority. So that's where you might do a little bit of research to find out what type of information could I share, articles, research, that just re- reinforce the reason I do what I do. And the third kind is living out loud. That's where you're with your kids. You do something really special with them, you post about it. And that's where you have a great client interaction, you post about it. Those are the three types of posts. Anyone can do that. They just have to have a plan in place. When you have a plan, you follow the plan, all of a sudden now you're more active on social. But don't just rely on social. It's really important that you have a very comprehensive approach. Email, social, text, print, networking, one-on-one, workshops, webinars, etc. So tell us, how does your software help with this? Because obviously you've developed a whole comprehensive methodology. Yeah. How does that work? So it's interesting. We were a marketing agency. We used to deploy 12-month marketing plans for our clients. That was what we were known for. The client would hire us. We would do whatever they asked us to do, which was build their website or develop their online product. And then we'd say, okay, now we need to a plan. We would build out these plans. And they took hours, like hundreds of hours to actually implement them because there was so much content we had to create from design to copy, the whole creative process, editing, etc. cetera. And I remember thinking to myself, there has to be a better way where it doesn't take 500 hours to actually implement a 12 month plan. And instead, let's try to find a way to do it in 60 minutes. And my team was like, you're crazy. Like that's like, how are you going to shave off 499 hours? I'm like, no, I think we can do it. So I started conceptualizing, what would this look like? And I'm like, okay, we need to build a software. The only way we can shave off anything of that magnitude is to have a, have a software platform. But what I don't want to do is just build another marketing software. I mean, there's, there's dozens, if not hundreds of marketing softwares out there. So here was our workaround. I said, I want to build the simplest marketing software in the world. And the team was like, okay, what does that mean? And I said, it means that anyone can use it, whether they are young and they don't like technology or they didn't grow up with technology and they're, they know they need to start embracing it. And that's what we did. We built the simplest marketing software in the world that has all of the functionality that a business needs. But more importantly, we pre-installed millions of dollars worth of content done for the marketing strategies into the software. So now a business can log in and get access to an entire library of content they can pick and choose which campaigns they want to focus on for that month, and their entire 12-month marketing plan can be built and implemented in under 60 minutes. And we have tens of thousands of people that have done it. So what makes you, okay, so people will say, okay, but then if you've got all these sort of pre-populated pieces of marketing, there isn't that authenticity there. There isn't that uniqueness. What would you say to that? Yeah. Well, the first thing is we built an entire branding feature into our software. So automatically everything is branded to that individual business. You set it up one time, you can always change it. If you have multiple brands, you can store multiple brands. Then we automatically apply your brand to all of the content. That's the first thing. The second thing is everything can be customized even further if someone wanted to. What we tell people is Syndicate's either 100% done for you or it's 97% done for you. It's just not 0%, which is why it's done. 
You can spend like five minutes really personalizing something to make it even more you. And the third thing which has been so fascinating is there's almost no overlap. We live in a really big world. And Sidio has grown. We have, have 35,000 people that are using our software now. But there's no overlap. I was telling you earlier, there's this one small town. There's 25 chiropractors in one town that's using our software. And they're all friends with each other. So they might see each other's content. But their audience is not following multiple chiropractors. Their audience is following that many chiropractor. So there's just never an issue. And the fourth thing is we have literally 10,000 people. I mean, the odds of two people on the exact same campaign at the same time is just so rare at this point. And we don't stop. We create content every single week for all of the industries that we are in. So if people are interested and they want to explore more your software and what can you what you can do for them, what do they need to do? Just head over to our website. I mean, we create, make it simple. I mean, it's like a one-minute setup process. You and your website, website is? Synduit.com. S-Y-N-D-U-I-T.com. That's like synergy and conduit, just merge together. Um, and yeah, check it out. We have a 14 day trial. You can give it a whirl. I guarantee it's going to blow your mind with simplicity. That has been our war cry from day one. We've never veered off course and we never will veer off course. Every new feature that we release fits into this whole simple concept so that the everyday business owner who's not a master of marketing or tech still has a chance to thrive with the platform. Cool. Well, thank you, Jared. It's been really interesting. If you're considering a marketing campaign or marketing hasn't worked for you, or perhaps you don't quite have it in you at the moment to put together a 12 month marketing plan, but you want to discuss it, head over to booker.com, get in touch. Let's see how we can get marketing working in your business. Let's see how we can help you get your 12 month marketing plan in place. Well, Jared, thank you for coming. Thank you. It's been a pleasure yeah, speaking to you. Sure. And remember, failing to learn is learning to fail.